39, an emergency cell phone charger requires you to turn a small crank in order to create the energy needed to recharge the phone's battery. If you turn the crank 120 times per minute, the total number of revolutions that you turn the crank is given by revolutions equals 120 times t. t is the time in minutes you spent turning the crank. So let's graph the function and identify the domain and range. Well, I'm not going to have negative negative cranks or, or negative revolutions, so I'm going to negative minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and just focus on quadrant one. So the dependent variable, the number of revolutions, would go on my y-axis. And the control variable, number of revolutions depends on how many time, how many, how many minutes go by time. So if we think about this, throw in a couple values. T is my control. Revolutions depends on it. So if I turn it for zero minutes, I've got zero revolutions. If I turn it for one minute, I've got 120 revolutions. Okay, one 120. I'm going to have to change my scale. Now, since it's going to go up 120 every time, that's my slope, 120 over 1. I'm going to make my life simple and go by 120. So there's 120, there's 240 revolutions. There's 360, 480. That would be 600, this would be 720. So another minute, another 120 revolutions. Another minute, another 120 revolutions. I suppose theoretically I could do this till I was uh, all pooped out. I can't have negatives, so this would be a ray going in the positive direction. The domain, what can I plug in for my time? I can plug in any time greater than or equal to zero. Just can't have negative time. And my range, uh, the lowest number of revolutions is zero, and then it could go up and up and up depending on how long I crank this thing. So the revolutions, R, is also greater than or equal to zero. Part B, it says identify the domain and range if you stop turning the crank after four minutes. Well, so I'm going to stop after one, two, three, Four minutes. I'm going to stop it right there. So really, I'm going to peel the graph back and stop it right there. Now, the difference is the domain goes, the x's go from 0 to 4 minutes. So I'd say 0 less than or equal to x, or t if you want, less than or equal to 4. The range, what happens with the y values? The lowest is 0, the highest is 480, and you hit everything in between. So you'd say 0 less than or equal to y, less than or equal to 480. Or you could say r revolutions. The revolutions are between 0 and 480. How does it affect the appearance of the graph? It goes from being a ray that goes on forever to a line segment that stops on two ends.